burned to a crisp. Look, the trees are dead. The pine cones are all black. Constantly bouncing like crazy. Wow, you can't deny that view. That was the most secure gate ever. <laughs> I see the smoke. <laughs> but the little Honda is gaining. <laughs> no, I really recommend the Mitas for Greece. The, the problem is they don't last very long. Welcome to Trans Euro Trail Section 5 in Greece. And another daily dose video. I'm here riding with my uh, Greek friend uh, that is riding behind me with the Duke 200 and slick tires. So it's gonna be interesting to see how he goes with me. I have the stock tires on this CRF, but still the stock tires on this one is, uh, are way better off-roading than that Duke and the slick tires. But he's a good rider, he actually races some uh, uh, supermoto here in Greece, so he's no joke on the auto motorcycle. A full day of riding. We are driving north from Athens, where I'm staying at the moment in my van. And it's so nice to be on the, on the road again with the CRF because I haven't ridden in a week or so. You have a lot of air in the tire? Of course. It's Too much? So it's cheaper. This is the Duke my friend is riding. <laughs> <laughs> with all the slick tires. <laughs> Try to keep up with the CRF. <laughs> it's road legal. Yeah. All these Greek motors are pretty crazy. Crazy dudes, so. This is one of the craziest dudes. <laughs> what? Uh, almost uh, three bars. Three bars, that's a lot. But does it really matter with those tires? <laughs> Perfect uh, road for this bike. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's nice to see what's coming. Oh, he is going pretty fast though. Maybe because I <laughs> gave him a hard time about those tires. He is uh, picking up some speed. It's so fun to see. Oh, nice views already. <laughs> a little bit of a jump. Nice view. Rough view because it's a burnt forest here. I guess uh, there's some kind of a forest fire that happened here. I need to ask my friend. Was there a fire here? Looks like burnt forest. Yes, yes. Uh, it's uh, unfortunately very common because uh, this is now 20 degrees in the summer. It's 40 something. One broken glass is enough to start a fire with a uh, with a wind. I feel like a hippie. Why? Because it's all the flowers and it's, uh, my, my, I will smell uh, chamomile. Let's go! Woo! Oh, some bigger trees. Don't want to hit those. Uh, this is the first time I'm having luggage on the bike. So I have like maybe 10, 15 kilos of stuff with me. Yeah, my friend said that he feels like a hippie because there's so much flowers. <laughs> I feel the same way. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Look at all this burnt forest here. These forest fires are not a joke here. Absolutely everything is burnt to a crisp. Look, trees are dead. The pine cones are all black. 
and it's all the way there, all the way to the village at, at least. So all this has been burned down. But if you look at the nature, new life is coming to coming from the ground. All the flowers and uh, everything. I don't know if these trees will heal up or will they just die away and new ones will grow. I don't know. Someone might know, so put it in the comments. I will ping the comment if someone someone knows this. But yeah, it's kind of rough but beautiful at the same time. If you sort out the suspension, this bike is really one of the best dual sports, I would assume, because it's so it's kind of light. And there's still power in the small 300, and it's so smooth. It doesn't vibrate like uh, normally the single cylinders do quite a lot. But this is kind of smooth engine. You can enjoy the tarmac section as, as well because it's not vibrating your ass off. Can't see him yet. A lot of rocks here. Maybe he started racing me. Oh, I almost fell down. We should be catching at this speed. Woo! Need to watch out for those rocks because they can easily just throw you anywhere if you're not ready. It's it's kind of sad, but how beautiful is this? Everything is burned. It's terrifying. My friend says that the, if you just need a glass bottle leave it somewhere in here because in the summertime when it's 40 degrees Celsius sun is gonna heat up that bottle and just reflection is gonna start a fire so it's not just a motorcycle that can start it or uh, making a fire or anything like basic like that but just a piece of glass can start the fire in these conditions Oh, oh crap, almost canned it there. <laughs> Those rocks are kind of, they come out of nowhere, you don't see them. The whole bike was up in the air, sideways. Woo! Now I hit my tire pretty bad. Oh yeah, a little bit of wheelie. <laughs> okay, now we're catching up. <laughs> well, my mirror is going crazy. I hate these basic mirrors, they're just on the way. I might throw this away at some point. Even though I have Loctite and everything, even the, the hardest Loctite I put in here. And it's still getting loose. Sheep. Oh, I have a, <laughs> I have a fly in my helmet. <laughs> oh. ah. Nothing? Okay. They're not talkative. <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh, so cute. Hello. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> How close was that? Oh, I don't know how I lost uh, control of my front end completely. It's fine, it's just... The problem is the front tire, the stock tire. Stock tire is really... Really not something I like. I, I should swap it out to something. If you have some kind of a suggestion what tires should go well with the CRF in this kind of riding style that I'm doing you should put it in the comments if you if you can help it would be much appreciated something more rugged for off-roading these nobbies are more like 80 20 maybe but my friend is doing extremely well <laughs> considering 
he has slick tires on. I'm, I'm fine with the speed at these, these roads. I don't have to be in doing nothing crazy all the time. This is fun. Huh? Still is somewhere here. Yeah, sure. What is that? Is it a restaurant or yeah. is there a, like a ca cafe? Yeah, these are the cafes. What? Oh, it's cold weather. No, it's just looks like it's dirty. This is a nice little trick. <laughs> okay, let's eat. Okay, here's the Trans Euro Trail breakfast two bananas, Coca Cola, and something I don't know what it is. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk? <laughs> yeah, so sugar basically. <laughs> sugar, sugar non-sugar sugar it's a very cute little uh, village here and there's usually some amazing looking uh, churches and this is no exception look at it fantastic uh, absolutely beautiful and uh, so is the town everything is so clean and neat and so chilled out. So the TET is running through this village. So if you ride the TET section 5 here, you ride through this village. Wow! Nice football field right in the middle of uh, this little town here. That's the most secure gate ever. <laughs> Oh, oh, the stock tires are really giving me a headache. Constantly bouncing like crazy. Wow, you can't deny that view. This is the best view so far on this trip, most likely. We got lost again <laughs> at a town here nearby. I think I'm ahead, but I'm not sure. So I'm just waiting here, hear him now, maybe. <laughs> I'm running out of battery from my DJI and the microphones. So yeah, I hear the bike now. So I can't really record all of it, but <laughs> yeah. I was sure what happened. <laughs> I thought you were in front of me. Oh no, I took a wrong turn. Yeah, I thought so. I I was thinking he's not driving this fast. <laughs> I was like I, okay. thought, I was like uh, 20 meters ahead and I saw a hairpin and, and I can't uh, refuse a hairpin. So kind of Is it attached? Why is it so loose? T tape? <laughs> is this the Greek way of uh, installing? It's single-sided single uh, tape. How long has it been there? Uh, since uh, three months. Okay, so it works. Oh, there's two Tenere riders. <laughs> That's nice. Let's see if we can catch them. <laughs> With the Duke and slick tires and this little Honda. They're not riding slow, that's for sure. I see the smoke. <laughs> but the little Honda is gaining. <laughs> but 
but I catch them, that's enough for me. I don't need to pass. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Are you uh, Greek? Eh? Are you Greek? From Greece? What? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Finland. Oh, we're, we're going to. Uh, I guess where we're going. Some mountains way over there. Towards Kapanisi. Uh, okay, uh, there's my friend. He's on the Duke. He's doing well with his. Uh, yeah, exactly, with the street tires. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, no, I really recommend the Mitas for Greece. The problem is they don't last very long. Yeah, yeah. But they, they do really well. And so how far are you going? Uh, we're just riding the Tet, uh, I don't know how far, but we have a place to stay in maybe 200 kilometers from here. Oh, okay, you too, huh? What's that? Where are we? It's from Finland, the kids. Okay, I'm from here. Ah, yes. We will go to the Polydros. It's Paris. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> he was smiling, so it's fine. <laughs> Oh, the suspension is taking those so nicely. <laughs> oh, look at that. The sun is shining down on top of the very calm ocean. It's totally still. There's no wind, there's no nothing, just quiet and the nature. <laughs> That's some view there. Oh, getting dusty. <laughs> Wow, tarmac. I would have never known <laughs> that there's a road like this all of a sudden. <laughs> Full of surprises this one. <laughs> <laughs> 